Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to set up Forza MU Wheel and get it working with Force Feedback on Forza Horizon 4. So currently if you have multiple USB devices and you're trying to map your controls on Horizon 4 there is a bug that basically eliminates all of your inputs for any secondary devices. Uh, there's two ways around this. One way is if you have the demo installed you can set it up on there and then copy the, the config files from the demo to the full game and you'll be able to get it working there. Um, but if you have a wheel that's experiencing force feedback issues or, or if you just want an easier way just to get everything set up and working I believe this is going to be the easiest way until Turn 10 and Playground Games actually fix it. So what you want to do is First of all, download the latest version of Forza Emu Wheel on the PC uh, from this website here. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, follow the guide, which is also located on the website. You must follow this to the T. Um, if you don't, it will not work correctly. One of the main things people miss is setting this POV's uh, hat switches for directions, POV's 1 you must set that otherwise it will not work when you try to use it so once you have that set up and you have all your controls input uh, for the wheel in the Forza MU wheel software fire up the game, go to the settings and go to your uh, your wheel settings and set, uh, set up all the controls as custom wheel profile 1 and just go through and set everything that you need to be able to play the game and then hit save. Now once you've done that you want to alt tab and come to your file, uh, windows file navigator or whatever you want to call it and what you want to do is, this is the file we're trying to locate, so what you need to do is type in, you want to start with your C drive backslash users backslash your username which for me is Steve and then you want to type app data and then hit enter and then you should come up with something similar to this what you want is local packages and then we need to find Microsoft Sunrise base game right down the bottom here there we go and then system app data WGS whole lot of mumbo jumbo and then right in here is where you're going to find the file needed that you need to edit to get MU Wheel to, um, to correctly map and have working force feedback so if you click the date modified it should come to the top for me uh, it's not quite at the top because I've been playing the game so I'm just going to open this one and then basically you should see a folder with a big uh, long code on it like that you want to open this with notepad and then you should be able to read all the uh, all the different sort of inputs and values and all, all the fun stuff in there so what you want to do now is hit control F and just type custom wheel which is going to take you to the coding needed for your custom wheel profile number one and what you need to do here is check your VID PID for all the input commands and they should all be the same value because they're all coming from the same device which is using uh, VJoy because we're using the Forza Emu wheel um, so what you need to do is just copy this value and then replace the the value that's up here for force feedback device VID PID so it matches all of these once you've done that you can hit save and then restart the game and everything should work straight out of the box um, the other thing you can fix here in this config file is the dead zones because currently the dead zones don't save from the in-game settings so if you want to change the dead zones you need to do it in this text file so if you're looking at the dead zones here 1.00000 is 100 on the end scale of your your outer dead zone and then 0.00000 would be absolute zero on the inner dead zone um, as default these are set uh, to in-game values of 0 0.5 and 0.95 which is you know 5 and 95 respectively inside the game so if you want to change those this is where you need to do it because it currently doesn't work in game so once you've done that you can close that off hit save restart the game and fire it back up and it should all work hunky dory and just to show you guys I am running emu wheel so we have 
Oops, if we minimize that, minimize that, where is my MUL? There it is. So MUL is running. Forza Horizon 4. Let's go. We have throttle, we have clutch, we have handbrake, full steering, and full force feedback. And that's all you need to do to get it all set up and working correctly. So if you've used Emu Wheel before, this should be a very, very easy setup. Um, all you really need to do is edit that text file. And you'll be able to enjoy the game, finally. Um, so this is just a workaround until Turn 10 actually fix these issues themselves. Um, but I do not take credit for this. All the credit is uh, to the guys on the Discord uh, all the wizards on there. The guy that originally found this is called Penniless Drift and he had an issue with his Thrustmaster wheel that um, ha he was getting no force feedback whatsoever so he's gone in and investigated all the files and he's found the way to fix it and shared it with us and Codename Jack has um, adapted what he learned from Penniless Drift and got Forza Emu wheel working as well with force feedback. So there is a guide on the on the Discord server, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Um, but yeah, all credit to those guys and the wizards that helped me get it all set up because I had a bit of trouble trying to find where the app data file was. And it is a hidden file, so it is easiest just to type in in your uh, your Windows file browser um, rather than trying to search for it manually because it may not show up. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it gets your steering wheel working for Forza Horizon 4 and if it does, give it a thumbs up and be sure to thank the guys on the Discord server for all the hard work they do. Um, it truly is an amazing support for steering wheels and Forza. So that's going to wrap up the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the, in the next one. Thanks. Bye.